Wow. So here's an update on uh, my side project for my aquaponics system, which was uh, to uh, build a control unit uh, for it uh, to read various things and uh, control the lights and pumps and a fish feeder. So I just uh, got everything hooked up and can do all that manually um, through a laptop, uh, and I'm working on some of the automatic, automated programming. Um, but uh, just kind of a quick tour here. I uh, have the fish tank draped in black plastic here because the fish don't like the light. Um, but over here where the siphon is, um, got a float switch that tells me the uh, cycle time. Uh, and uh, over here, I have an automatic fish feeder that drops the pellets down into the fish tank. Um, that is uh, powered with a 24 volt line, so uh, that can go off at uh, set times of the day. Um, and then down underneath here, a little harder to see, there's a, a temperature sensor uh, for the sort of the ambient temperature here. And then over here, there's a temperature sensor dropped into the water. And also uh, over here is a, a relay 24-volt uh, controllable power outlet that uh, runs the grow light cycle. And then um, some of those orange cables there are 110 uh, volts that are controlled by the control unit. Um, and one of them runs the pump and the other will uh, uh, power the aerator, which I don't have in there yet. Um, the control box here is uh, kind of bolted to the stand. Um, has all that wired up inside. There we go. Sorry, the space is a little tight here. Wired up to a PLC. With the uh, temperature sensors going in there, and then most of the, the digital outs there to control the pumps and uh, grow lights and so on. And then on the in, inside here, the float switch goes in there, tells me uh, when the grow bed's filling, and uh, a couple of solid state relays there to turn the pump, 110 volt pump on and off. And, uh, what I still have to do is uh, get a pH sensor hooked up in here. I've, I've ordered it, but uh, the parts are going to take a little while to get in. And then over here on my laptop, right now I'm just running um, the uh, PLC uh, sort of programming software, uh, which gives me access to what's going on in the system, temperature readings, and you know, the pump on and off, and lights on and off, and so on. Um, but uh, ultimately, I want to be able to close out the, the PLC programming uh, application once the PLC is set the way I want it, and then use a separate application that just talks Modbus and collects, uh, and does data logging and, and plotting and things like that. Uh, to, you know, so I don't need to use this. PLC software, which isn't really, uh, and it's not user-friendly, so just designed for programming the thing. Um, so, more later. So, uh, one of the last few pieces of a uh, little uh, control system effort here came in. Uh, got a uh, industrial uh, pH sensor here uh, with a BNC connector on the end. Um, which is going to go into my control box here. Um, I have a little, uh, bought a little amplifier circuit here. Uh, so the BNC plugs into that. Um, this amplifies the millivolt signal and turns it into a 4 to 20 milliamp uh, output, which then goes into here, a little uh, analog input for to 20 milliamp signals. Um, so once I get that going, um, I'll be able to read pH continuously and uh, 
So I gotta work on the control screens for this whole thing now. So to uh, close out my video on automation here, um, just a couple more things. Uh, finally uh, got the pH sensor in the water, just kind of built a little thing out of PVC to hang it on the edge of the tank here. And, um, and then over here on my laptop, which is uh, plugged in with a, a serial line to the uh, PLC, I got uh, um, here just on a command line, uh, a background process running that, that runs the uh, Epix control system software. Uh, just runs in the background uh, all the time. And then uh, made some, I don't know if this is going to show up on the video, but made some control screens here. So uh, get the um, room, room temperature, uh, tank temperature, the pH reading, and then um, the, the float switch here indicates uh, the cycle time for the filling the grow bed and emptying it. And then over here on the control side, it can turn the pump on and off, and the lights off and on. And uh, I can set the automated light schedule here, what time the lights turn on and off. And, uh, and then here's the fish feeding. So I can do a, a manual fish feeding by pressing this button. Um, and otherwise it's on a cycle twice a day to do it automatically. And then a couple things I can set here. Um, how long the pump turns off before the fish get fed, and then how long the pump stays off um, to let the fish eat before uh, everything starts running again. And then I um, have a separate screen here with a line plot that has um, just continuous uh, plot of these values in the tank and room temperature are here, uh, but they're pretty much the same, so you can't really see the difference. And then this is the pH which kind of wobbles around a little. Uh, I think that's just the way it goes. And then at the bottom here, these uh, bars are the, the cycle time for the grow bed, so I can, you know, see how quickly uh, or how uniformly it, it uh, fills and empties, and probably a, a way of flagging, like, when the pump's getting clogged up. Um, so that's pretty much it for uh, automation and control here. Um, planning on moving on and uh, applying some of this to a passive solar greenhouse project in the area, hopefully.